What's going on, y'all? 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 It's Saber Dobby. What's going on y'all? It's David or David and this is my base. I know, I know that it isn't quite done yet, but this isn't going to be a video on me putting together my base. This video is about why I started to set up shop here and why I think that this spot is the best spot to set up your base currently and grounded. The main reason is because there is an abundance of just about every single resource that I need for crafting and nourishment within a super close proximity. You need to start laying down some foundation for your base. Here is plenty of grass for planks and dandelions and weeds for weed stems. Are you dehydrated or hungry? Water droplets roll off and land here all day. And since we are on the oak tree roots, there are tons and tons of acorns laying around for acorn bits. Did you just finish your smoothie station and want to start making some green machine smoothies? Well, there is a nearly endless amount of clover, sprigs, and plant fiber all around you. My point is, this spot has everything that you need for crafting around you. The second reason that I chose to set up here is because I wanted a spot that was close in proximity to a research tent so I can quickly analyze things that I find. It feels so bad to discover something new that on your way to analyzing it, you die and have to respawn and go get your bag and try again. This spot has no problem making it safely to analyze things. Thirdly, in this spot, you have something that's very important and grounded, height advantage. This means that no grounded bugs can exactly make their way up to you, making you safe from ants coming to tear down your base for food, and more importantly, safe from spiders climbing up and attacking you. And also, speaking of height, since you're so high up, not only do you have a terrific view of most of the backyard, you have near infinite room to build around upwards and around you. Being on a ledge instead of the ground really opens up plenty of different building layouts. Fourthly, this tree root just happens to have an invaluable natural light source right next to it, making the dark far less scary when you're trying to traverse terrain. Furthermore, down below is an ant colony, and every now and then I'll hear some commotion going on down there to find ants fighting off an orb weaver or a pack of larvae. These guys are like little protectors for your base and even net you some important materials like spider chunks, webs, and even larva spikes. Lastly, since there are so many ants down there and orb weavers that roam around near the wooden fence, you have a pretty large supply of ant and spider crafting materials, ensuring that you don't have to worry about crafting another ant club or insect bow if you need be. And if you aren't quite comfortable yet with killing spiders, then make sure to check out my orb weaver combat guide that I posted earlier. In the tunnel by the ant colony, there's also plenty of ladybugs down there in case you need to make your own own ladybug armor set. Now that I've covered why this is by far the best spot to build your base currently and grounded, I do want to inform you of a few things that could be pretty hazardous for the spot. Number one, while the ant colony looks pretty harmless around me in this video, the soldier ants will be hostile and attack you if you don't have any ant armor equipped. This can make running materials back and forth to your base really sketchy, so make sure you have a set of ant armor if you're planning to set up here. Number two, be mindful of where the spiders are. In Grounded, you must learn that there really isn't a spot where spiders can't roam, meaning that they could easily venture off from their normal territory at any point. The main location that spiders normally are in this area is the land of orb weavers along the wooden fence by the water and the wolf spider that sleeps under this tree trunk. And finally, number three, fall damage. Since this base is so high up to avoid grounded insects, you either need to tediously parkour your way down every single time, or you'll need a dandelion tuft. Luckily for you, there are plenty of dandelions close by to stock up on these bad boys, so don't forget to get them. And that my friends is going to be it for my coverage on the best spot to build your base currently and grounded. Thank you all so much for watching to the end. Make sure that on your way out you aim your insect bow at that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of my grounded content. Also make sure to hit that thumbs up button because it helps my channel out so so much and I do appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or want to chat and I will see you in my next grounded guide. See ya! I loved everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush